Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, October 20th, 2016. Well, it's another mild morning once again as we have temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 40s over the far northern interior, lower to mid 50s in your northern suburbs, and upper 50s to lower 60s in your southern suburbs. Lower to mid 60s are found in the city. Winds are from the east around 5 to 10 miles per hour and remain so throughout today with temperatures cooler for this afternoon, a lower to mid 70s, but still about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year, ensuring that October will end well above normal for this uh, year for the entire month. There will be an increase in the threat for showers, but most of that's going to be tomorrow evening and tomorrow night with the potential for some heavy downpours, especially as you head north of New York City. So let's dive into this forecast. On the latest radar, you can see the bulk of the rainfall is focused over the Great Lakes and the Ohio River Valley. Much of this rainfall will remain well to our west, but we'll still be dealing with a few isolated showers that will pop up here and there throughout the day today, capable of a brief heavy downpour. Again, most of the rainfall with this cold front that will be moving through the region will be found basically tomorrow afternoon on through tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see our first frontal boundary has now sank to the south, producing slightly cooler weather conditions, and high pressure will remain driving that easterly wind into the northern Atlantic. Then you can see back to our west, we have significant lifting developing between these two cold fronts here, with a new wave of low pressure developing in the Tennessee River Valley that will lift northward and drive right through our neck of the woods with the capability of some heavier rainfall tomorrow evening. Follow this cold front, by Saturday, temperatures will fall back to where they should be for this time of year, but it will be very windy, especially in the afternoon, with winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour from the northwest with higher gusts over 30 miles per hour. It's going to make for a very windy afternoon on Saturday. On the water vapor satellite picture, I just want to show, unlike yesterday, but we had a lot of dry air build in, we're seeing more moisture in the mid-levels of the atmosphere that will lead to the support for the potential for some isolated showers this afternoon. Meanwhile, this little tropical, well, can't really call it tropical, let's call it a cold core or extratropical low pressure system developing here to the north of the Bahamas. It could pick up some tropical characteristics, but whether it does or not really is not going to be a substantial difference because it's going to get picked up by this trough here and drawn northward into New England. The reason why that's important is because this is what enhances our low pressure system to the southeast of Long Island on Friday night to produce a very strong low pressure system over east New England and windy weather conditions for our neck of the woods Friday night on through Saturday. So let's dive into this forecast. For this afternoon, Look for the threat for widely scattered to isolated showers, temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s with winds from the east of about 5 to 15 miles per hour. By the time this warm front lifts northward this evening, look for those winds to shift out of the southeast and the south. By tomorrow, look for widely scattered showers becoming more widespread as you head towards the afternoon. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s for lows and lower to mid 70s for highs. On Friday night, that low pressure system will start to lift to the northeast. Look for the winds to start to veer to the northwest and increase to 15 to 25 miles per hour. On Saturday morning, those winds are going to be strong from the northwest at around 15 to 25 miles per hour higher gusts. Some lingering showers in the morning, possibly mixing with a little bit of snow in your highest elevation. So watch out for that. By Saturday afternoon, though, we will be clearing out with windy conditions in place, but dry conditions as well. Look for lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. On Sunday, high pressure will build in, still a bit breezy, winds from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour, declining as you head towards the afternoon. Look for temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s for lows, and lower to mid 60s for highs. A weak cold front will move through on Monday with a threat for an extremely isolated shower, but for the most part, just scattered cloud cover in place. Look for lows in the lower 50s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, and mid 60s in the Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, high pressure will be in place with scattered cloud cover. 
Look for lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. On Wednesday, high pressure remaining in control with clear skies. Lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. And on Thursday, high pressure remaining in place with sky or cloud cover. Lows in the lower to mid 40s, highs in the mid 50s to lower 60s over the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.